Hello and welcome to another vlog. It's been a hot minute, but I am here. I'm sharing my unboxing of my brand new equipment, my heat press, as well as my mug press, and my brand new sawgrass sublimation printer. It is quite the journey. I have ups and downs, and I invite you to watch the struggle bus with me. So sit tight, and here we go. Good morning, everybody. So today is a very exciting day because I just got my sawgrass printer and I'm about ready to get it all set up. I'm going to show you the unboxing and I'm going to tell you my thoughts as I go through it. And right now I am currently um, going to the website and figuring out what I need to do because the only instructions I got were pictures on a box. So I'm going to the website right now to see what other instructions they have for me. Come along with me as we go through this process together. I'm very excited to show you all of the things that I will be making with my new Sawgrass Virtuoso SG-1000 printer. We're getting ready to print our first design. I tried to fill the page up to make sure that I didn't waste anything. <sighs> okay. Let's see what happens. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. Data in. Alert. <sighs> I don't know what that means. What do you mean? Do I have to do something different? Stop flashing. Let's just give it a second. I think it takes a while for it to get over here. And I'm not sure how to get the truck the tray pushed in all the way so that's something else i'm gonna look into or the top portion i think is supposed to pull out further but i don't know okay i'm like 90 percent sure that there's a problem because i don't have this set up correctly but i'm not sure how to fix it because if i push it back any further it's just not gonna work do i need to like pop open a tray or something okay i need to fix that load paper so it's doesn't recognize the paper. So I think I need to push it up somehow. I don't know how that works. Like it's not rising up. Isn't it supposed to rise up? Like how far back do I push it in? Cause it doesn't, it can't go all the way. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. Like it's supposed to spring up like this. I'm pretty sure. So, all right, maybe I didn't have it in all the way. Do I still need something else to make this function? Let's see if I push. Even if I push that in. Oh, there we go. Okay, what's happening? The first print. Oh, I think it's gonna print all of them. It is, oh, perfect. But it didn't mirror it, so those are all backwards, so those are garbage. <laughs> those are garbage. Okay, we did it again. It does take a long time. It takes like a minute and a half to two minutes for it to register the print. But here it comes. And I did reverse it, so we should be good to go. There it is, there it is, there it is. Ah! Okay. 
It did print, unless it's just still wet and it needs to dry. This is the first one I printed and this is the second one. You can see the second one looks darker, but it might just be it hasn't dried fully yet. So I'm gonna give it a minute to dry and then we're gonna cut it apart and make a cup. Okay, here it goes. I need to tape it and then we will be ready to go. All right, mug ready to go. Put it into the heat press and the timer started. Okay, there it goes while we're waiting. And the timer is going on the big machine. 200 seconds left. I'm going to put my gloves on. Probably don't need both, but I'm just gonna start with both. Um, these are nice uh, form-fitting gloves, so I shouldn't lose much dexterity. I don't know if it'll fit with my watch on. Oh yeah. Okay. We got the gloves, we got the goods. Here we go, 20 seconds to go. Get you into position over here. Okay. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. And then from what I understand, you're supposed to take this off quickly, but I, oh, oh, hot dog, hot diggity dog, you guys. Oh my goodness. The colors are much different, but wow. Sublimated a mug. It's not focusing. There we go. Yes, focus on that, please. Can you focus on it? There it is, my first mug. My first mug in all of its glory. But again, the colors are a little off, so I need to play around with that. But other than that, I'm impressed. I am impressed. All right, you guys, that is it for the unboxing and the testing. I'm gonna get straight to work busting out a whole bunch of stuff, and I'm hoping to have it ready for my last farmer's market of the season, which is this, th this Thursday, which is four days away, because today's Monday. So, um, I've got a lot of work ahead of me, and you guys probably won't see this video for a little while, because I have so many other videos before this one goes up. So I apologize for that, but I'm only one person and I can't do it all. So the videos have been kind of slacking lately. And when I get a good chunk of time, I'll try and just bust a whole bunch out. So thanks for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up so you can see more videos like this. And don't forget to check out my website because very soon, if not now, by the time you're watching this, I'll have a bunch of new sublimated products available for you to purchase. So I will see you on the next video. Bye.